Thanks, uh, Pano, for asking. And I really appreciate everybody being here and uh, listening to me for three minutes and 30 seconds or so. Uh, I, uh, you know, from the big picture, that what excites me the most is uh, I, uh, I really I get excited about quantitative thinking, quantitative ideas. I've been in the defense sector doing STEM things for over 30 years now. Uh, so I love quantitative thinking, but I love people even more. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited that I'm at a place where I think that those two loves are going to join to be a way that I can personally find purpose here in, in Austin, at the University of Austin. But um, I'll, uh, I'll borrow uh, Patrick's three-point model, I'll do the Baptist sermon model about why I'm excited about uh, things about our programs. Um, so the first thing is uh, I'm excited that uh, we're going to build our STEM programs on top of uh, this powerful, cohesive, integrated intellectual foundations program. Um, I think that, uh, so I, I taught at a fantastic uh, uh, university college uh, part of coming here, and they had a good general education program, but um, I'm excited about teaching students about technical thinking and quantitative thinking on top of them having struggled with why questions. Pano talked about why questions. Uh, on top of struggling with should questions. I think today in uh, our current environment of explosive development in artificial intelligence, but also in biotechnical um, enterprises and, and other areas that are very uh, STEM focused, uh, so we should ask should I questions before we ask can I questions. And, and I, uh, I'm looking forward to the Univers University of Austin being a place where that's the norm. That's the type of thinking, the type of um, uh, foundational thinking that the students uh, will have that we'll be building upon. So building on this strong foundation I'm excited about. Uh, Pano mentioned the evolution of curriculum. Uh, I, uh, again, I taught at a great school before I came here, but my lesson plan uh, that I would teach a calculus class with was the same lesson plan that my instructor in 1987 was using. And, and that's not horrible, but it's not great. And uh, it's so difficult to evolve curriculum in the current setting. And uh, we get to start over and say, what would you do if you got to start today to build a great technical program? And so that does not mean we're going to be throwing out old material. It means that we're going to think about how would you do that uh, in 2023 and not in 1935. And so um, that's very, very exciting to get to rethink how are you going to deliver technical quantitative ideas to students. So uh, that's the second thing. And then finally, um, perhaps what I'm most excited about is that we're in Austin. I mean, if somebody... T so I feel like... Getting to start a STEM program in Austin is like telling someone, um, we want you to start a, an institute for Elven studies, and we're going to headquarter you in Lothlorien. Like, like there's uh, Lord of the Rings, folks. So, I mean, come on. Uh, th this is a place where there's energy, there's innovation. Um, I, I personally live in South Austin. I live between... Farm to Market Road, 1826 and 1626, that's kind of a broad swath, but farm to market idea, this notion of where production happens to where need is met. Um, Austin, we get to be a mind to market center here in Austin. We get to bring sharp kids in, expose them to good ideas, and then we're here in Austin, we can connect them to points of need with their, with their minds. And so, um, Great intellectual foundation program, evolving the curriculum, and being in a mind to market hub uh, make me excited about STEM in Austin. Thank you. I think we just got a new slogan there, too. Thanks, mind to market. I love it. <laughs>